Hola, hola. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what day this is. It might even be over and I have to restart. I don't know. I'll figure it out tomorrow, but for now. <laughs> Today is Thursday. I just got done filming a Secret Society um, vlog. Christmas in July. What the heck does that mean? Go to ShellySJSmokeOut.com and um, yeah, you know, it's been a crazy week. I'll get into, I'm gonna get give you guys more of a vlog tomorrow and I also have entries that I haven't posted yet. So I really don't feel, it's gonna overwhelm me if I have to go through all my content tonight and do it all. So I'm just gonna put this one up for today and tomorrow I'll go through everything. Um, I woke up at six today. I could have slept until like eight, but I couldn't. <laughs> I, I had some, long story short, I had some out of town visitors here for a week and I had to take them to the airport early this morning. So it's been a very interesting week. I've learned so much about myself and I'm so excited to share that with you guys. And you know what? I'm going to start with this. I should have already had it in my head. I didn't even think I was going to do this. And let me just go grab something real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so one of the common themes that I definitely kept seeing as a reoccurring theme throughout this whole week were signs. And I was caught singing, sign, sign, everywhere is sign. So one of the big signs for me that happened was um, a couple weeks ago, it was the day before, was it the day before? A couple of days before Melissa Coates passed away, um, I wanted to get this book. I got it off of Amazon. Thank you, Peter Mon, for the recommendation. It's called A Year of Positive Thinking. And I was just, the reason why I wanted this book was because I, I don't know if you've seen my post, but another book I got not too long ago is 31 Days of Wisdom and Praise. It's a book I got years and years and years ago at a dispensary that was ran by Rastafarian people. And they really wanted to incorporate you know, spirituality with cannabis. That's why I went there. They're not around anymore, but they used to get have this basket and they had all these 31 days of wisdom and praise. It's like you can put it in your pocket, you can put it in your purse. And that book got me through so much. And that's when I really learned that the Bible is a parable. Like you can watch or you can read the same scripture and be in a completely different place in your life or a different moment in your life even or mood and you will receive it in a completely different way and I thought that was really cool that it's not like a textbook it's a, it's a parable in my opinion and so um, I lost that book with all the moves I've had and it was really hard to find for years and years and years I tried to find it I finally did on Amazon not only did I get myself one but I got one for Danielle and for my other friend that's going through some stuff right now and um, I was just like, you know, I want to keep on that vibe because I also have this other book. It's in my bathroom and it's a wreck. It's falling apart and it just has a whole bunch of, it's like 101, um, like, oh, what's the name of it? Or excuse me, 1001, oh, I can't remember the name of the book. It's driving me nuts, but it has a whole bunch of different awesome quotes or messages or whatever um not just from like the bible but also from just different people throughout history you know it's a really awesome book i'm gonna have to get it but anyways we're getting into that so like that book also helped me through so much and that's something i was able to keep track of all these years you know so when Peter Mon, I love watching Peter Mon's Peterisms videos. He brings out this book a lot and I really love the messages that he's read out of it. So I was like, you know what? Why not get the damn book? So I ended up getting it and what was why I was hesitant at first was because it was like over 20 bucks and I was like do I really need to get this? And I was so hesitant and I was like, hello, this is for my mental health. Yeah, $20, who cares? That means you just don't buy sushi one night. You know what I mean? So it's so crazy how we get, when it comes to taking care of ourselves sometimes, we can just be like, oh, I can't spend that. But yet I'll spend $20 easily on sushi, food in general or alcohol or cannabis. But for my mental health and my spiritual health, I don't know if I, it's stupid. Do you relate? comment below if you do but anyway um the day that this book came was the day that 
I felt, you know, when Melissa passed away and that's the day I found out. And it was so crazy because it was like, wow, life was preparing me that I really needed different tools to help me stay focused, not get lost in that darkness, not get lost in a negative, neg I was gonna say negativity, but just negative vibes in general, you know what I mean? And being very aware and present. And so I thought it was really beautiful that life gifted me, in my opinion, this book at the right time when I needed extra help you know so I've been reading it it's really easy read if you don't like reading it's super easy and it'll get you so it's like let's see today is the eighth right yeah today's the eighth but here's what's interesting a couple days ago I was texting with my homegirl and I was just sharing with her how I had so much resentment towards this person and you know she was right there with me in the sense of like she didn't like this person either she got really bad vibes off of them she had an experience with this person that was very negative not only to her and affected her but it affected her family so we were just kind of like going back and forth and I was just like, it was so crazy because when I chose my words carefully with her and I was like, no, I resent him. I have so much resentment towards him. And so yesterday it was, Ethel, it would have been Ethel's 16th birthday. Happy birthday, Ethel, rest in peace. And it was crazy because the day before I didn't read the um, positive thinking book. So I was like, you know what, before I read today's, I'm gonna read yesterday's. And that was the day that I was texting with my friend. And here is for um, that day. So resentment won't serve you. Resentment has no good purpose. Unfortunately, the only ones who feel the destructive effect of its power is the one who is resentful. As best you can, as best you can, let it go. And I was like, holy cow. Because I didn't just tell her, oh, I don't like that person. Or, oh, I don't like that guy. Or, ooh, whatever. I was like, no, I, I resent him. I don't like him. And I don't, and I resent him. I'm very resentful. So I was like, oh boy. Well, there goes life again. From the timing of this book. To the conversation I had and like feeling these feelings, I was like, damn dude, that is deep. So let's read today's, shall we? Optimism is not self-deception. Optimism is not about providing a recipe for self-deception. The world can be a horrible, cruel place. And at the same time, it can be, a one it can be wonderful and abundant. These are both truths. There is not a halfway point. There's only choosing which truth to put you, wait, I'm sorry. There is only choosing which truth to put you in your personal foreground. Let me read that again. There is not a halfway point. There is only choosing which is truth to you put, to put you, <laughs> where can I get this sentence? Okay. These are both true. There is not a halfway point. There's only choosing which truth to put in your personal foreground. And I thought that was really cool because... Dang, my camera died, so now I have to use my phone. Anyways, you know, that entry for today, I just think it's really cool because I have literally been living that. Where I've been having moments, especially this past week, of I can look at it in these ways or I can look at it in this way. And even though it's really easy to just be like, oh, you know, all these bad things or whatever, man, it just feels so damn good when you're you just, you know, being grateful or just enjoying yourself. Or if you're presented a situation, you find the good parts in it, like, oh, you know, Maybe this person is having an uncomfortable moment, therefore is making everyone uncomfortable. But you know what? We're going to get past that moment. And I'm really glad that we're all here having a good time. And that's what it's about. Like, and you pull yourself up. And then when you do that, people around you tend to want to elevate up too. And then before you know it, we're all working together, just like vibing, you know? 
I don't know. That's my thought anyways. Anyway, talk to you guys tomorrow. Adios.